I didn't get a chance to make a weapon this week because I got really busy working on my truck. So I'm testing an old weapon that I never actually tested. This is the saw and pipe axe. It's very light, uh, single-handed weapon, could be double-handed. The only problem is that the blade is really light steel and it's not some high temper or anything, so it's very, very flimsy. Couldn't be used for chopping wood at all and it might even get bent um, cutting the coconuts. We have a visitor today. <laughs> this is the neighbor cat. Random neighbor cat. Maybe he's volunteering as a test subject. You hurt him and you will pay. You were the neighbors. I'd like everyone to note that I am wearing safety glasses today. I actually remember to put them on my head. It's definitely dead. I've never had a weapon stick without mutilating it. Oh. I've never had a weapon stick without mutilating it. That was good. That was good. Well, it worked really well. Um, it bent it a little bit. You probably can't tell, but it did. So. Uh, it's really light. It's easy to swing with one hand. That's nice. Because most of my weapons are extremely heavy. Okay, everybody keeps telling me that I put the blade backwards. They want the blade points pointing forward. I did not put on backwards. I did that for a reason. If you think about it logically, it works. But this way, that way, it will slice and cut instead of... If, if you had it this direction, how people are telling me I should, it would just kind of stick, and if you were hitting somebody with, who was wearing clothing, which if they're raiders, they probably weren't, but um, it would catch on clothing really, really badly. This way, it will slash and keep going. So, that's why I did it.